Hello everyone, it's me Christine again. And you clicked on a nail art tutorial? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Recently I saw a video on Mikey from Glam and Gore's channel where she followed a makeup tutorial using only the audio, meaning she didn't get to actually see the makeup or how the person did it. And I thought that was a great idea. This is the kind of YouTube content that I signed up for. Although, I don't think I got a notification. <laughs> And then Nikki Tutorials did it, and now I'm gonna do it. But I'm gonna do it for my nails, because after that multi-chrome makeup tutorial, the beauty community wants nothing to do with me. <laughs> beauty community has shut me out, guys. I'm cancelled. <laughs> no, you don't have to leave. Okay. I'm interested in this for some of the same reasons that Mikey is. What it would be like to only hear the tutorial and then try and apply that knowledge without actually seeing it. That's something I never really thought about back in the day when I did nail art tutorials. <laughs> Honestly, if I tried to follow my own nail art tutorial using only the audio, it would turn out awful. Because <laughs> it would just be like, dab, 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 f Milky Whites, Glassy Taco, Hello Taco Bit. <laughs> what are you supposed to get from that? <laughs> and so let's learn from someone else's nail tutorial today using only the voiceover. I can't pick the video myself because then I'd see the thumbnail and that would be cheating and I only cheat at water marble. So I had Ben pick the video for me. Oh, Ben! 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 Hello there. Don't worry, I don't want to put makeup on you today. <laughs> Not today, <laughs> maybe another day. So Ben. You got my video? I do. It's 10 easy nail art designs for beginners. The ultimate guide. From the number one nail art channel on YouTube, Cute Polish. Why'd you pick a cute polish one? Just curious. She's my favorite nail artist. <laughs> what? I've been roasted. Now, I don't think I've seen this video before. How old's the video? It's from April 2016. Okay, so that's an older one. Classic cute polish. Although not that classic, because she's been around since 2010, I think. Congrats to Sandy for being one of the OG nail art tutorialists on YouTube. If you did not know, I think she was one of the first, if not the first person to post a nail art tutorial on YouTube eight years ago. That could be older than some of you. <laughs> eight years? How does one survive that long? I don't know. I couldn't do it. In fact, I didn't do it. <laughs> Sandy was doing this well before the internet thought it was cool, before there were beauty gurus and challenges and shit. I remember her face reveal being such a big deal because for years she just only had her nails in front of the camera and no one knew what she looked like. <laughs> it was a big deal the moment she popped up from behind the watermelon. <laughs> Hey guys! I've also met Sandy a few times and I'll just confirm that she is exactly as sweet as she sounds. Hey. <laughs> Obviously we're very different people, in fact, kind of opposite people, which will make this even more interesting for me to follow her tutorial. But I'm not sure I would have ever started off a YouTube channel posting nail art tutorials if it weren't for her setting that precedent. Okay Ben, cue up the video. So I've dimmed down the brightness completely so the screen is black. Would you like proof? There it is. <laughs> but I need to keep it open so I can pause it because I'm probably gonna need some time because her videos are very quick and to the point. <laughs> hey guys, it's Sandy on, and in today's nail art- loud. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Sandy, and in today's nail art tutorial, I'm going to be showing you 10 different super easy nail art designs ten. that are perfect. <gasps> do I have to do every single one of my nails on both hands? <laughs> oh, shit. I guess I better take my nail polish off. <laughs> Step one. Sadly, my fluffy children did not choose a peel-off base coat under the manicure they picked for me. But I guess that's appropriate, since I've never seen cute polish do peel porn. <laughs> okay, I'm naked. What's next? Cute. Polish. Hey guys, it's Sandy, and in today's nail art tutorial, I'm going to be showing you 10 different super easy nail art designs that are perfect for beginners to nail art. For beginners? That's basically like me now, it's been so long. The first nail art design is a 3D line design that looks really cool and is super easy to do. Begin by painting line. your nail black. Black. We're gonna need black. Wait a second. Begin by painting your nail black. She didn't use a base coat. I'm already in pain. Next, add a big stroke of dark purple down your nail. What other colors? Once that's done, 
Go in with a lighter purple and add a stroke. Light purple. And finally, use a white polish to add the final white. stripe down the middle. She didn't say hollow, but can I make them hollow? <laughs> Next nail art design is an interlocked dot Akira the bright blue nail polish. Bright blue. Once that dried, I added and a chrome silver nail polish diagonally across silver. the nail. Silver, silver, okay. In one Can the silver be hollow? <laughs> because she named the design style the interlocking design, I know where she's going with this, although I've never done it myself before. But I guess it's kind of like in makeup. If you say, we're gonna do a cut crease now, then the person sort of has an idea of where this is going. <laughs> then add big blue dots on the silver side in between the big silver dots. Big blue Blue dots on the silver side in between the big blue dots. No. Shit. <laughs> Finish off all of these designs here today with a fast drying top coat. All of the designs we only did two. Fast drying top coat? What's that? I only know taco. <laughs> the third nail art design is perfect if you'd like to quickly add some flowers over your nail, but you don't have any nail tools. What? I don't think I've ever put flowers on my nails. <laughs> I am not girly things. There's no need to worry about the petals being perfect, so don't overthink it, just do it. I am worried about a thing. <laughs> this flower design is a perfect example of how much we're opposites, both in style and in just like the content in our channel. <laughs> Sandy has always kept it very peaceful family friendly, great for advertisers. <laughs> Me, not so much. Finally, go back in with the yellow to create perfect centers in the middle of the flower. I thought she said don't worry about being perfect. <laughs> oh, we got ourselves a little visitor. The next nail art design is a really cool braided look. Braided look? What kind of braid are you, Mitch? <laughs> really cool braided look. Braided, okay. Is go through all three of those colors and stroke the brush from left to right and right to left over and over again. What? <laughs> I've done braided nail art before, but only using nail vinyls to help me keep the line straight, so this might be kind of challenging. <laughs> I set up my camera differently than I normally do for these nail tutorials, so I Same. only realized during <laughs> editing that you couldn't see the brush I can't very see anything well anyways. when it went from the This is some f***ing basket weaving. What's next? The fifth nail art design is a super easy, classic galaxy design. Galaxy, yes! Begin by painting your nail black. Sandy, you still killing me with the no base coat. Petition for cute polish peel porn. <laughs> Just kidding. The day cute polish gets demonetized is the day YouTube is dead. <laughs> Use a little piece of makeup sponge and tweezers to create white nebulas over your nail. Fun fact, Sandy was a teacher pre-YouTube, which makes sense because she's pretty good at it. So far, so good, right? <laughs> Am I a good student? Yeah, pr probably not. I would have been kicked out of her class. <laughs> Finally, add a nail polish that has little black and white circle confetti in it for the stars. What? A nail polish with little black and white circle confetti? That is so specific. Almost 2,000 bottles of nail polish, and I don't think I have that. <laughs> Actually, hold on a second. Oh my god, I think I do have that. <laughs> wow, it's the first time I'm gonna open you up, pixel perfect. So easy and looks really cool. And now let's do my other hand. <laughs> Who does nail art on their other hand? So weird. Leopard spot nail art. I'm starting off with a white. <laughs> Okay, the reason why I'm laughing and being stupid is because so long ago I made a video on leopard spot nails for April Fools and thought it would be funny to try and trick my followers and tell them that like, I love leopard spot. Pretty pink leopard nails. Oh my God, they're so pretty cause they're pink. But I actually hate them cause I hate leopard spots and hearts and flowers. <laughs> Anyways, you had to be there to laugh. I'm starting off with a white base and then I'm adding a couple different colored big spots over the nail just using the nail polish brush. Don't add too many because you need to save room for small black spots at the end. Using a toothpick, go in with some black nail polish and add C shapes and what? Dot I failed to listen. I did the black first. This is another design where you don't need to overthink it, just do it. <laughs> I guess I should have overthought it. <laughs> Damn it, now my nails just look like a cow. Make sure they're not all perfectly round spots. It looks more realistic this way. Very realistic. All right, well, let's move on to the next one. The seventh nail art design is a fizzy bubble gradient. Start with a light base color. What did she call this? Fizzy bubble gradient. Then add in a few big spots in a darker purple color to the bottom of the nail. 
Then as you go up the nail, add in a few smaller ones. Finally, oh, use no, even no. darker purple and overlap some big spots at the bottom of the nail and again some smaller ones as you move upwards. What? <laughs> this is now the first design that I'm not sure what she's talking about. I have never heard of a fizzy bubble gradient. A bubble gradient? Isn't the gradient just dab, dab, dab? <laughs> I don't know where to put them, so I'll just put them in a line. Then as you go up the nail, add in a few smaller ones. How far up the nail? When do I stop? Look, it's a domino. <laughs> Am I supposed to be doing a domino? Remember that you can just choose one design from this guide to use if you'd like. No, bitch, I'ma do them all. <laughs> next, next. The eighth design is a super easy waterfall design using stripers. <sighs> Shit, cute polish is one color. swifty bitch. It's a super easy waterfall design. I know what that is. I've done it before. Many, many moons ago. Except I threw out all my striping polishes. Because <laughs> they were like 12 years old. They all dried out, so I had to put them to rest. They're no longer with us today. R.I.P. Stripe and Polishes. Then using a few different shades of pink, plus a sparkly silver. A few different shades of pink and a sparkly silver. Copy that. Add in some lines coming down from the cuticle. A cute and quick design that's really easy to do. I didn't need to study for this one. I just know my shit, Mrs. Crystal Ball. <laughs> it's actually her name, eh? Sandy Crystal Ball. Like her middle name is Crystal. Her last name is Ball. It's f cool. I wish I had a cool name. Not like Christine with no H. <laughs> a cute and quick design that's really easy to do. Doing this manicure is bringing back such memories. Were you there when Simply Nail Logical did nail art? Comment below. Let's have a reunion. <laughs> I haven't seen you guys in so long. You look great. <laughs> This scallop nail art design is one of my favorites because it's a scallop nail. Started in the middle of the nail and did three strokes down the nail at varying heights to create what? three bumps. Wait, what? <laughs> scallop nail design? What is a scallop? That's seafood. I think I've heard of that as a term, but I can't remember what that actually means or what it looks like. <laughs> now I'm be right back while I listen to this audio three times. I started in the middle of the nail and did three strokes down the nail and Mary Heights to create three bumps. Okay, she said bumps and scallops, and there's three of them. So I'm gonna have to make sense of that what I will. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> really cute. I love this one. Oh no. <laughs> I put it in my cuticle. F All right, we've got a flood. Okay, so far this has got to be the most poorly executed nail because I have no idea what the goal was. <laughs> If all else fails, you can always just paint my polar bear in a snowstorm design. What? Is that the last one? Hold on, I gotta rewind. You can always just paint my polar bear in a snowstorm design. I hope you guys enjoyed this ultimate guide to easy nail art. If you'd like to see more nail art- Is this an inside joke I'm not a part of? Is that the end? What do I do on the last nail? I guess I'm painting a polar bear in a snowstorm. There. How does that look? I didn't have any audio to follow, so that's why it looks like shit. <laughs> All right, that was it, but now we gotta add a top coat. Just finish off with a top coat to seal in your designs and add a beautiful shine. To seal in our design and add a beautiful shine. I can't even say it with like a sweet voice. Like it's just impossible for me. Let me try that again. Add a quick dry top coat to seal in your design and give a beautiful shine. No, see, I still sound like a bitch. <laughs> I was never meant to be a teacher or a role model. <laughs> okay, how did we do? Is my polish cute? Am I allowed to look now? Yeah. Can I look? Oh my god. They're similar, but yet they're so different. Oh, it must be the hollow. Yeah, that's the difference. <laughs> Let's look at the nails one by one. 3D line design that looks really cool and is super easy to do. Interlocked dot cure that looks really intricate, but it's super easy to do. No need to worry about the petals being perfect. This is more of a watercolor flower look. I'm not good at flowers. I don't do flowers. <laughs> right, Ben? I don't get you flowers. Yeah, don't buy me flowers. F*** that shit. Get me tea. <laughs> this is empty. <laughs> design is a really cool braided look. It's a super easy, classic galaxy design. Another classic and super easy design, leopard spot nail art. 
it looks like a cow that's bleeding. The seventh nail art design is a fizzy bubble gradient. It's a super easy waterfall design using stripers. This scallop nail art design is one of my favorites because it's really pretty. On her final 10th finger, she just has it painted white. What? I'm so confused. What were you listening to? She said to paint a polar bear if you didn't know what to do. All else fails. You can always just paint my polar bear in a snowstorm design. Do you not understand that joke? Oh my god! <laughs> Chris. Cute Polish pranked me! She got you good. <laughs> her sarcasm just sounded like herself, so I didn't get it. She's so sincere. She wouldn't try to trick you. F <laughs> Cute polish is a f savage in disguise. <laughs> I actually painted a polar bear in a snowstorm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying. Oh no, my natural glow makeup. It's like the first joke you learned as a kid. <laughs> I never learned that joke. I just learned, does your face hurt? Because it's killing me. <laughs> That's what my dad used to say to me every day. <laughs> Overall, you did really well, though. So what does this mean? I'm really good at following instruction? I mean, it was 10 easy nail arts for beginners, right? Might have to step this it up is, for another true. video. <laughs> does anyone have a 10 very challenging nail art designs for experts? <laughs> That's a good video idea, actually. Well, I couldn't make it. <laughs> Someone's Susie! talented. Susie! Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, um... If you like nail art, you can subscribe to Cute Polish. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time! time.